sauce on pasta. Not your typical Alfredo sauce. No. Lots of color in there, but more flavor. Tell me about it. Um, well, first of all, I'll say it's a lot different than what most people would grab off the shelf at the grocery store, like the bottled sauces. There's also a tomato pasta sauce in my cookbook as well. Um, problem with those is you're going to get all the added sodium. Like most uh, canned and bottled foods, it's high sodium is where it, where it gets you. So with this one here, it is a little different than the regular Alfredo because I've added lots of different vegetables. Um, I've also taken a little easier on the um, on the Parmesan cheese, just enough to add some flavor. But as you know, Parmesan and like most cheeses are high in sodium, so just enough for the flavor, but not to overdo it with the salt. Yeah. So rather than like a hard-on traditional Italian style Alfredo sauce made with 100%, well, 35% cream uh, and lots of Parmesan, and then finished with butter, what she's done is taking. Uh, garlic and sauteed it and then added skim milk and thickened it with flour or you could use cornstarch and then add, add it at the end just a little bit of parmesan and a tiny bit of light uh, herb goat uh, no herb uh, cream cheese, cream cheese. Yep. so you've taken out half the sort of volume and thickened it with uh, some significantly healthier stuff so there's the result it looks real good lots of veggies in there yep. or you could leave the veggies out and simply have your sort of traditional fettuccine alfredo or whole wheat spaghetti alfredo as we've got here